What's up everybody, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today we're going to break down uh, this scene here in Blender. Okay, so you can see I have a little uh, environment, nothing too crazy going on here. Um, let's actually we'll go back into uh, this mode here. And basically what I have here is I've got a plane uh, with a particle system where I'm basically just instancing these little 2D bushes. And then here in the background I just have some uh, 2D images of trees that I've just spread around uh, to kind of create um, the illusion that this is uh, inside a big forest. And when you look at it through the camera view here, um, it does work quite well. Um, I think over here, over here I do have an actual uh, HDRI in the background, which I ended up just leaving it all dark at the request of the client. Um, but there's a lot of cool things you could do uh, with the background image or an HDRI in the background. So I'm just going to hide some of these layers here. I'll hide the ground, the portal, which we'll get to in a second. I'm going to hide the entire environment and I'm going to go out of my camera mode um, and we'll start to talk about uh, this image here. So here I have some footage that I filmed in front of a green screen. Um, it's just a 2D flat plane here, um, but when placed at the correct angle it looks uh, really good. And you can see here if I hit play, he's walking out. I did a little bit of animation on the actual, um, as you can see here, there's a couple keyframes down here on the actual plane itself, just um, moving him up a bit as he walks out. I'll play it again here. You can see he rises up a little bit and also comes forward just a bit here. And I did that because as he's exiting the portal here, um, it just kind of helps really sell that he's stepping out of the portal. So a couple things I did to get um, the video footage looking really good and blended in with the environment. If we go uh, select the footage here and go to our shading editor here, we can see that I've got a little bit of a, a, a very simple node setup going on here. So essentially over here is my movie clip, which I've just imported as an images plane. If you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description to one of my videos where I show you how to bring an image or a movie clip into Blender and use it in the way that I'm using it. So that'll be in the description. So I have this the movie clip right here. I have um, this going down here to the emission so that I can control the emission, um, which I think I did have a little bit of animation having him brighten up a bit as he comes out of the portal. So I have this bright contrast uh, node here, which I have disconnected. Um, however, um, I was playing with connecting it. You can see if you connect it here, then you have some options to um, mess with the contrast and the brightness of the character. Um, but in our situation, we didn't really need it. So then from here, I have the output going to a mix shader um, with, with a little bit of animation on it. And that's just so I can, can have him appearing into the scene as the portal opens. Uh, so you can see over here when I click the mix shader, there's a little bit of animation up here. So as the portal opens, you can see there he appears. And you can, if you look over here under the mix shader node, you'll see that the factor is changing and that's just the animation. And you can keyframe anything in Blender by just hovering over it and hitting I. And that'll add a keyframe. So if I hover over this and hit I, you can see up here a keyframe has been added. I'm going to control Z and undo that because I just, I don't want to mess anything up. And then I have this transparent node here connected to the mix shader, um, which is what is giving it the transparency and that factor animating that slider is basically just animating the transparency here. And then of course everything's going right to the material output. Um, it is important to note here on the actual uh, video footage itself, um, I did have the roughness turned all the way up just so I didn't get any reflections. So you can see there if the roughness is down on the image that you bring in, on the image of the plane that you bring in, um, you will get some weird reflections and stuff you don't want. So be sure to turn the roughness all the way up so that you don't get that. And another thing to note, which I noted in my previous tutorial, is on your image as plane, your movie clip you bring in, you want to go over here to the material properties tab and you just want to make sure on the blend mode that it's set to alpha hashed and on the shadow mode also to alpha hashed and this will just enable realistic shadows being casted. Um, and I demonstrated that in, a no in the previous tutorial which is linked in the description. Another very important thing to note is that when I use something like my camera here, um, I'll select my camera and I want to have depth of field so I can go to my little camera down here and with the depth of field right now I have it selected you can see when I change that if you don't have in your material properties if you don't have this set to alpha hashed and the shadow mode to alpha hash you will not be able to correctly focus the camera 
on your image is playing for whatever reason. So it's really important that these two are set to alpha hashed. So another cool thing that I think is worth uh, noting in this scene here, if I uh, zoom out a bit, you can see that, um, let me turn off these, uh, the lights here, where are they, the scene lights. So turning off the scene lights, you can see it's actually pretty dark. So this portal, which we'll get to that in a little bit here, um, the portal itself is not emitting a whole lot of light. Um, and I really wanted to help sell the fact that this portal was lighting up the wood. So by adding these scene lights uh, to the scene, um, which let me see, there's one, two, three, they're just three point lights that I've placed um, around the scene. It really helps sell the fact and I have those animating so that they turn on as the portal opens, that the, the brightness of the lights just kind of, and it all works really nice, especially looking through uh, the, the camera lens here. It, it really helps make it feel like this portal is just blasting light. Like watch it here, it's a little slow on my computer, but uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, really just it just looks really nice um, I did to help glue it together of course the ambient occlusion bloom and screen space reflections is on um, but there's another cool feature in blender um, so I went down here and under the color management and this is under the render properties um, I have it set to standard which the default in blender is filmic so I have it set to standard and I have it on medium high contrast and you can feel free to experiment um, just till you get the look that you want I do have the exposure, it looks like up a, a little bit, and then the gamma I was messing with that. And there's this little thing here, use curves. So if I turn these curves off here, you can see um, it doesn't have that glued look. And then when I turn the curves on, just at, is a little more glued together. So I just have a little bit of a small curve here under the blues, nothing going on with the greens, and a little bit of curves on the red there. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice feature using these curves. Uh, it's, it's a one way I've found you can really help glue your scene together for some final renders. Um, but then again, keep in mind it all does depend on what you're doing. If you're going to be doing a lot of color correction in a different program like After Effects or Premiere Pro. So before we move on to uh, showing the rest of the clips here, um, I do just want to go over this portal real quick. So I'm going to select the portal and I'm going to go to my shading tab. And as you can see here, uh, it's there's little, we'll go back here and play it. It's emitting some particles, nothing too crazy, but there are some particles, uh, you know, being emitted. So it's just a pretty simple particle system. Um, I'm not going to delete the bake, but we're not really going to get into the particle system, but it's a very basic, simple particle system that's happening. Um, to me, the more interesting part about this is in the uh, node setup here. So I'll go to the shading tab. And uh, I think it's actually, maybe it's not as crazy as I thought. So yeah, it's pretty basic. Um, I just have a gradient texture going into the factor of a color ramp. And I just played with, uh, you know, these colors, adding some different colors till I got something I liked. And if you zoom in, you can kind of see um, it's it's got a nice bluish pink kind of just all around it with some purple in there. Um, and that's just going right to the base color and then out. So nothing too crazy there, but I, I really like the way this portal turned out. Very simple. Yep, it's just a Bezier curve. And then the sphere is what we're, it's off to the side somewhere. We're using that to instance Yep, the sphere's over here. That's what we're using to instance for the to generate the particles. All right, so in the full clip, you have probably saw that there was a couple extra clips. Um, so up here in this folder up here, I have a little folder called Walkout B-Roll, which is the actor walking out of the portal. And then I have another folder. So if I turn this off, and I'll go to my next set section. I'm going to start this at 116, and we'll just go to 310 for now, frames there. Um, you can see the portal got bigger and that's because I have it animated to get bigger here because when I turn on this folder down here close-ups Compilation images as planes. Um, you can see that the actor It the scene looks totally different and the reason for this is I use a different camera So I'll go to my cam close-ups and just select the camera here and then go into camera mode and I use this I, I made the portal bigger so that I had some light coming on the left and the right side and then when I hit play we can see the actors looking around so I'm just keeping everything in the same scene but I'm using a uh, different camera different angle different focal length and um, a whole different compilation of the images as planes here which this uh, this compilation of these images as planes is pre-composed if I stop the footage here, I'll go to this mode so we can see a little better. I'll just go to say frame 600 and I scroll through, you'll see it change. So there's some different scenes here 
that I've just comped together just for um, making things a little easier in Blender having to only deal with one video clip but I really do like these shots it's pretty neat so yeah guys thanks for watching I hope this tutorial was helpful um, so just two of the key things that I want to point out before uh, we leave in this tutorial are just when you're bringing in this th these footages uh, make sure you remember to have the roughness turned all the way up so you're not getting weird reflections also make sure that the blend mode and shadow mode is set to alpha hashed and uh, this is one comp here of the actor you know walking out of the portal that we talked about and then and then I've got this other folder here with the close-ups and as you can see you might have noticed there's some uh, weird stuff up here this is just me being sloppy when I was keying out the footage in After Effects you can get rid of that by just right clicking subdividing a bunch of times and then just go right in and delete those right out of your scene so there you go I hope this tutorial was helpful if you guys found it helpful please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video